Hey guys, remember, I am not a professional and nothing I say should be taken as 100% fact unless proven from at least one outside source. I am also a Christian and will always search for the truth no matter where it leads. So, I got a few more things to talk about to you guys. A few months back, I was watching a video by Dutchens and I saw him use this really cool tool. By the way, this is a video of one of my recordings of this tool. I will, of course, leave a link to it in the description box below. I suggest that you guys play with it. It's actually pretty cool. It is a tool that allows you to see real-time satellite imagery from the GOES-16 satellite. There are so many options, not even I have figured it all out. But you can see as far back as the entire globe to as close as one state. I monitor this satellite imagery daily just to look for some strange stuff, and yesterday I saw something very weird. There are three smoke plumes that appeared yesterday. Two could possibly be fires from California, but the third that happened in Nevada is very weird. Okay, so you see right here, and you see right here, these two plumes. Let me go back. Look in this area right here. You see there's one, and then there's two. You see that? I think those could be fires. I do have to say this is very close to the geothermal facility in Clear Lake. I think it's called Clear Lake. It's a geothermal plant that sucks its power from a magma chamber. All right, let me zoom forward a little bit. Now, you see this plume of smoke in Nevada? Look right here. Right in this area right here. Let me go back one more time. See that? Right there. Right there. You see that? Okay. Well, if you look closely, you can see that it was definitely not a cloud. Now, why would I say that? Because if you look here as the plume, you see that right there, what happened? Let's see that again, right there. Now, as the plume spreads out, there is an edge of a hill that the smoke passes around, showing that it was pretty close to the surface. That is not what I thought was strange, though. I then checked earth.noschool.net, and if you follow me, you know I checked that a lot. This area that I'll show on Google Earth in a minute shows a notable increase in sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and even carbon monoxide. The thing that confuses me, though, is that there's nothing to burn over here, guys. I'm not joking. There literally is nothing. There are not even many trees or grass at all. It's pretty much just a bone-dry desert. And real quick, here's a zoomed-in look at the plume. Or whatever it is. You see that? See how it wraps around that hill right there, showing that it was definitely on the ground. And that's not fog, guys. Plus, this is in the middle of the day in Nevada. There'd be no fog there. And it seems to have emitted from this area right here. All right, guys. So this is where the plume came from right here. I have it marked with a place mark right there. Notice that it is next to this big white patch right here. Does anybody, get, does anybody know what this is? Is this a salt flat? or something because it's got some really weird designs on it I'll zoom into that just a little bit if anybody knows what this white patch is right here please let me know please comment below now the plume happened right here and this is the hill that a raptor in remember it came out here and wrapped around this area right here showing that it was coming from the surface also does anybody know what this is this is the exact location where that weird plume came from, but what is this thing? Uh, what is that? It's I don't think that's water. Is this another salt flat? Do they even have salt flats in Nevada? Because I don't know what the hell this is. Whatever it is, this is where that big plume of smoke came from. And it was pretty large because it filled up this whole area and went right through here. Now one more time, here's the plume again. See it comes from there and goes right around this hill. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Now, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but right here, it says February 7th, 182352, I think it says. So this plume started almost at 0000 UTC on February 8th. Remember, all of this is going to be in UTC time code. So here we are at earth.noschool.net. Let's go to Earth. Let's zoom into Nevada which is about this area right here. Let's stop the wind flow. Click chem and then click SO2SM. Come on, there we go. 
Now, this is current right now. Let me switch it to UTC and go back to the time that this plume occurred, which is about right there. Remember how I said UTC was about at 0000 on the 8th? Now, as I go through time, you're going to see clearly a stationary point of sulfur dioxide being emitted close to where this plume was located. The plume was located somewhere right here, and I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Now, here's the carbon dioxide emissions during the same time. And you remember this is the same spot, so we do have an increase in carbon dioxide in this area. Now, here is the carbon monoxide emissions, and you can see an increase of carbon monoxide in the same area at the same time as well. Now, let's take the point of these emissions and input the coordinates into Google Earth. So I use this right here. And I'm going to input the coordinates of where these emissions are coming from into Google Earth. As you can see, these are the same coordinates that I got from here. So here is the location of the increase of sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide emissions in this area right here, that weird white patch. Notice how it is just due northwest of the smoke plume that we saw on the satellite imagery, which came from this area, remember, and it wrapped around this hill right here. What is going on over here and over here? It is very close to each other. So, it, you know, maybe it is connected. Who knows? Nevada always has really, really weird things going on. So let's explore these two areas. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, what is this? Is it the sand? Is this salt? What is this? What are those? Is this an old volcanic field or something? It doesn't look like it, though. And look, it's got this weird crater-looking thing over here. This looks like an old, like, cinder cone or something. Look at this. This literally looks like the moon. It really looks like the moon. Huh, maybe the moon landings were done over here. <laughs> Let's zoom out. Yeah, a lot of craters. Little tiny, tiny craters. Okay, what the hell is this? Um, guys, those are tanks. Oh my god. <laughs> those are those are military tanks. <clears throat> no way. So this must be a military staging area. They must be doing a bunch of drills over here or something. Look at this. What is this? What's right here? Maybe that's like target practice area or something. Look at this. What is this right here? We got some interesting stuff to look at. What the bunch of weirdly shaped boxes and let's see wow guys this is actually really interesting my god i didn't even know all this stuff was out here so this must be a military base guys but i don't know what the hell those things are if you guys have any information about this area at all please let me know please because i have no idea what's going on I mean, this whole area is huge. Look at that. This is where the sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide emissions have been increasing quite. It was a pretty large increase, too. And down here is where that huge smoke plume came from. So maybe this is military training, but then again, why would there be sulfur dioxide even involved at all? This whole area must be a military training facility or something. Just the land around here is just so weird looking. And here's some rainbow color. That's very weird. Well, guys, this is actually kind of fun. I've never found anything this interesting before. So we found some tanks. Now let's see what this is. What the? Whoa. Guys, what is this? You see this right now? And look at this. Is this green water? What is that? What in the living hell is that? 
And look, guys, it's coming from right here, this weird dot. What is that? Really, guys, does anybody know what these areas are? Just, that looks like, like radiation or some weird radiated water. I don't know, guys. That's pretty interesting. Something weird's going on. So just to show you guys one more time, that's where the plume occurred. You see that? It was quite large, and it went right around this hill right here, so we know that it was on the surface. And here is the exact area where that plume occurred. There's that hill that it wrapped around. And here is the large increase of sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. Could they be connected? What is going on, guys? Is this another military drill? Who knows, because we did find some tanks over there. All right, guys, so we have three more explosions to talk about. You may see a fourth explosion that happened recently and two more up here in Princeton, Canada, but those are usually quarry blasts. There's a lot of quarries and mines in this area. But these three, however, here, here, and here, some of them very tiny, I do not believe are near a quarry or a mine. So let's start with the explosion that occurred on the Olympic Peninsula right here. This was a magnitude 0.9 explosion at negative 0.6 kilometers in depth, just 17 kilometers southeast of Forks, Washington. Here are the coordinates right here. So let's search this in Google Earth. There's the coordinates. Let's search. Here's the exact location of the explosion. As you can clearly see, there are no quarries or mines in the area that we can see. Just a bunch of trees. Why has USGS been reporting so many explosions in weird places lately? I will leave the links to the three explosions in the description box below. But as you can see, there's not much around here at all. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. There's a river, no quarries, no mines, literally nothing at all. All right, guys, now here is the second explosion right here. It was a magnitude 0.9 explosion at negative 0.9 kilometers in depth, 5 kilometers east-southeast of Arlington Heights. Now, usually in the past, explosions that have occurred near this area have been quarry blasts. I actually used to have a friend that uh, used to work in one of the quarries up here. This, however, does not seem to be near a quarry or a mine, once again. So, let's check Google Earth and see what's up. And here's the coordinates. Here's the location. Pretty close to Arlington. So, here's the location that this explosion happened. I don't see anything in this area around here. Do you? Remember, if any of you have any info about these three areas, please comment below. Please, because I am a little confused as to why these explosions are suddenly happening. And it's usually in the Pacific Northwest that they're happening, too. Yeah, there's no mines, no quarries, nothing. Looks like a logging area, but that's not going to have any explosions. Zoom out, there's nothing. Huh. Last, but certainly not least, is this explosion right here. It was a magnitude 1.7 explosion at negative 0.8 kilometers in depth, 6 kilometers east-southeast of Nooksack, Washington. In retrospect, the large meteor that recently hit uh, Michigan and subsequent boom resulted in a magnitude 2.0. So let's copy these coordinates and see where it leads us. Alright, here's the location of the explosion near Nooksack, Washington. As you can see... It does not appear to have any quarries or mines in the area at all, just some logging areas. Does anyone know what the hell is going on? Are these really explosions, or what is going on? The USGS has them marked as explosions. Who knows what is happening? Seriously, it's very weird. If anyone heard, felt, or knows about these events, or these areas, please, please, please let me know below. Please. <laughs> Let's just take another look around real quick. I, I don't see any quarries, any mines here at all. Just a bunch of logging areas and that's it. And it happened right there, right in the middle of nowhere pretty much. Now remember in my most previous video, the graph of seismic activity in the past 16 years at the Long Valley Supervolcano in California? Well here is another look at it. Each section is one year from August to August with all earthquakes reported magnitude 0.2 and above. 
The next graphs I will show you I created for Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, and Mount Shasta. The timings and the magnitudes of all the quakes will remain the same for each graph. Now here's the graph for Mount Hood. This is all activity magnitude 0.2 and above since 1999. Remember it's per year August to August. It seems 2002 and 2016 were the busiest years, with 2002 coming out on top. Now, here's the graph for Mount Rainier, again showing all activity magnitude 0 0.2 and above since 1998. It seems 2001 and 2016 were the busiest years. And last but not least is Mount Shasta in Northern California. This shows all activity, again, magnitude 0 0.2 and above since 1999. 2007. 2009 and 2014 were the busiest years. This graph was created using one of the free graph creators online and the USGS earthquake catalog. And just one last thing really quick guys. Is this a fire in Arkansas? You see that right there? That is not a cloud. That is coming from the ground. And if you see, there is a point right here and right here as well. So keep your eyes on it. It almost looks like a triangle. And I'll go back. You see that? There's a fire here, there's a fire down here, and there's a fire right there. The big one though, that's pretty large guys. For a fire, that's got to be huge. So does anybody live in Arkansas that's watching this? You know, I tried checking the news, but I couldn't find anything. So if you live in Arkansas and know what this is, please let me know. I mean, obviously this is not volcanically related or anything. I just thought it was weird because that's a that's a pretty big fire, guys. So I'm just making sure everyone's okay and nothing bad happened. Yeah, and you can see a plume right there as well. And they started almost the same time as each other. So hopefully everyone is okay. Let me play that one more time. Yeah, that's that's pretty large. And just for something cool, let's look at planet Earth. Man, that's awesome, isn't it? Personally, I really like this tool that they have. Well, guys, that is all I have for you right now. Remember, if anyone wants any data associated to anything in this video, please email me at the email address in the description box below. God bless everyone and thank you all for your support. I am here for you guys and not for the money. I refuse to monetize any of my videos. I promise I will never do that. Have a great day, guys.